so you see the um, religions of today they're using two things as weapons uh, the Godhead and the Trinity now the this is religion right this is a this is proper religion not like the ones that they're made up pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world all right so that that's it that's that's your religion um anything other than that is man-made <clears throat> um if any man among you seem to be religious and bridle not his tongue but deceiveth his own heart this man man's religion is in vain now vain means um worthless it's no good not helping at all um so yeah so all these religions are using these swords to gain people to go to their religion they're fighting for their religion they're not fighting for God or anything like that all right so um, you don't need these religions to fight God you need God you got to ask God all right so um, <clears throat> you'll see here where it says uh, we'll go to 8 John 8 24 um, they'll show you so as I said before unto you that you should die in your sins if you if you do not believe that I am he you should die in your sins All right so who's he um, I go my way and shall seek me and you shall die in your sins whether I go you cannot come all right so you neither know me nor my father if you had known me you should also know my father all right so there's jesus and his father there's there's two right so there we go we're starting to see trinity stuff um here you'll see he gets two votes yeah it, as in that sort of terminology all right and yet if i judge my judgment is true for i am not alone he's, he's, jesus is not alone but i am the father that sent me all right it is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. So two, two people, two men. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bear witness of me. All right. So two, they got two votes. All right. So that's two separate entities. All right. So what do we got here? So Isaiah. This one here was one of the ones I struggled the most with. Like um, uh, full on Godhead. Uh, King James Bible right and you can't use the King James Bible without the Strong's Concordance because the whole point in the King James Bible and what makes it as good as what it is is the Strong's Concordance which was made just for the King James Bible no other Bibles all right so you see here where it says everlasting father so this father here is not the father not not the pro not God the Father, right? This everlasting Father is is still Jesus, right? But He's the Creator of all things, so He's the Father of all the things that He's created. That's what it's talking about there. This is this is actually not talking about God the Father Himself. So even if you have a look in tools, and you go in to <coughs> uh, uh, into Livia, um father you'll see there h1 so you just press on that and that's just normal father that's that's like your dad like your normal father sort of thing so that's not <clears throat> god the father so that was my last hurdle there trying to f figure out um yeah the, the godhead was me i was just all about one god there's one god one god not nah, he's not separate jesus is the father all that sort of stuff well yeah, you got modalism and all that sort of stuff. I, I don't know, all these other weird ones, but whatever. But these two are battling against each other are both right. The ones that are about the Trinity is right, and the one about Godhead is right. So, what do we got here? First Timothy, right? First Timothy 3.16. And without controversy, great, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, all right? <clears throat> So that's why this one's always been important. It's it must be in the KJV. Now KJV only us will always say, well, Trinity's not in the, not in the Bible, right? Well, it is because you've got to use Strong's Concordance and and um, great is the mystery of God. All right, God twenty three sixteen. 
Alright, so we tap on that one. Uh, biblical usage and show strong. So, Alright, so you got <clears throat> the supreme divinity figured to live the magistrate by Hebrewism, very exceeding God, Godward of uncertain affinity. Right, so you got here God, Christ, Holy Spirit, so all three, and it says of the Trinity, right? And the reason why it uses the word Trinity is so you can understand what it's saying. Amazing, that isn't it? <laughs> so it's saying three parts, right? And it actually says here God had God had Trinity, right? Both there at the same time. So that's what I'm saying, they're both true. And these people are just constantly fighting each other over what's true and what's not <clears throat> all right so there i said there before unto you that you shall die in your sins if you do not say that i am he you should die in your sins so jesus you got to give jesus credit for what's his all right so um what have we got here hebrews this is god the father god's final word in his son all right so god talking to his son and, and it says here, talking to his son. But unto the son he saith, Thy throne, O God, he's calling his son, Jesus God, is for ever and ever. Uh, a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. And thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, Jesus, he's talking to Jesus, even thy God, that's God the Father, God of Jesus, has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. All right, so there's two, two there, right? God speaking to his son. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think uh, people stress out about it. They should leave religion and start just letting God or Holy Spirit teach. All right, God bless.